join us. Oh, blimey. Brothers, so standing up, if you're standing up, if you want to do the warm up sat down, that's absolutely fine. You can hold on to your chair. First of all, just want you to lift your shoulders up and down. Nice and easy. And then just roll those shoulders backwards. So just while you're rolling your shoulders backwards, I just want you to think about your posture. So we're not slouching forward. We are trying to stand up nice and tall as we roll those shoulders back. Fabulous. Hands up. Just give your hands a bit of a shake. And then hands up and down, nice and loose. And twist them. And then fingers in and out. Okay, relax there. So you want to hold on to your chair, that's absolutely fine. Let's get marching on the spot. If you don't want to hold on to your chair, you can bring your arms into it. So I just want a walking pace at the moment. Nothing too fast and furious. Remember when you are moving around on your feet, do try and land onto the ball of your foot and then roll to the heels. There we go. A little bit of a swing of those arms. Just starting to feel the tops of your hips working. Still maintaining that nice posture. And just a gentle swing of those arms. Or you might have your, your hand on your chair, so just doing a one-arm swing, which is absolutely fine. And just getting used to shifting your center of gravity from left to right as you move, as you're marching on the spot. Okay, let's take this arm, these arms out just a little bit then. Nice and easy, as I say, about a walking pace. That's generally enough just to get that heart rate up, get that blood coursing through your veins on this wonderful Tuesday morning. There we go. And then back to normal marching. So yes, I do intend on carrying on these online sessions. I know they're not perfect, but they're the best we've got at the moment. Um, but this new job I'm doing, it's working in a gym. I'm not doing personal training, it's dealing with members and sales and all that sort of stuff. Um, and it's shift work. So what I plan to do is work in these online sessions around my shifts. Um, but I'll try and give you plenty notice of when the sessions are gonna, are gonna, gonna occur. And we'll see how we get on. Tell me to stop if you've, if you've had enough of doing all this nonsense. Should we reach up? I've got you on mute, so if you are telling me to, to go away, then I can't hear you. So just nice and easy, reaching up, stretching out through that side body, warming up them shoulders and getting that heart pumping. Reaching forwards. Beautiful, lovely. And I'm just back to a normal march. So we're gonna slow it down, but we're gonna lift those knees up a little bit higher. Not too quick, but I do want you to focus on lifting your knees up by using these muscles on the front of your legs and through the front of the hip as well. You can hold onto your chair for a little bit of balance if you want to. We are gonna do a balance exercise a bit later on. And then just back to our normal march. Okay, this time with our feet, we're gonna step forwards. We need to dab your toes forwards and backwards. You can hold onto your support if you want to, but you just, Dabbing those toes forwards and backwards so you feel a stretch through the foot. If you can manage it, opposite arm and leg as you swing those arms. There we go, I'll just come around this side. There we go. So as I say, about walking pace, I'm not going to do any running on the spot or anything like that today. So keeping those toes reaching forwards. Let me turn side on. Hopefully you can see my feet. I'm doing my best. We're going to reach up. So you're still dabbing those toes forwards and backwards, but your arms are stretching up. And your arms are going forwards. Are you managing opposite arm and leg? <laughs> for some of you, I can see your arms, but I can't see all your legs. So I don't, you could be doing anything for all I know. And then back to normal marching. Okay, this time we're going to go side to side. So again, just dabbing your toes down, reaching with the toe, dabbing your toe down. Just going to bring the arms into it. Nice and steady, as I say, about a walking pace. Fabulous. Poetry in motion. I'm sorry about the music. I think it was Andrea who asked me about music. The problem with 
putting music on whilst I'm talking is you, you, you wouldn't hear you wouldn't hear me because the music is just picked up by the microphone and then drowns out any voice so you wouldn't be able to hear me and it sounds really awful the music it just kind of like comes in and out so keeping those toes going side to side you're going to push forwards and backwards Beautiful, reaching up and pushing away and then back to curls and back to marching. So our final little bit, again you can hold on to your support if you need to, I'm just turning around so that you can see me, you don't need to turn around. This time we're going to step back, I just want you to dab your toes backwards. Again, so you're just feeling a little bit more of a stretch through the front of the hips. And if you can manage a little bit of movement with your arms as well, a little bit trickier because you're going backwards, you can't see where you're going. So it's quite okay just to have your a hand or even both hands on your support if you need to. Fabulous. So then back to normal marching. So we're going to slow it down. And we're just going to lift our heels up and down. Super job. All right, and then just steady there. Let you get your breath back while we do a few stretches. So, shoulder, sorry, feet about shoulder width apart. Tiny little bend in the knees. Hands down by your side. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. And we're just going to do some little side bends. So try and move from the waist. Keep your back uh, flat as you just drop from one side to the other. Nice and easy, just getting that movement through the lower back and through your torso. And relax there. Hands on your thighs. Again, just roll those shoulders back. Nice straight back. This time, arms up level with your own shoulders. And then back down. So just nice and easy, up and down. Not too fast. There we go. And then we're going to do a big stretch up. We're going to lean to one side. We're going to reach up. We're going to lean to the other side, we're going to reach up, and then we're going to come back down, relax there. One arm on top of the other, nice straight back, that little bend in the knees just to protect our knees as we do our rotations from one side to the other. So your back is still nice and long, but you're trying to rotate from the tummy, from the lower back, that's where you're trying to get the movement. You're not just moving those elbows and those shoulders from side to side. Lovely job. And then just come back to the center and relax there. So holding on to your support, a leg, I want you to reach out, I'm just going to turn slightly side on so you can see. I just want you to move your foot up and down. So you've got hold of something, just flexing that foot up and down. And then side to side. And then a circle in one direction and a circle in the other direction. Same leg, just a few little kicks forwards and backwards. Please, nothing too vigorous. Don't be kicking anything or anyone or the pet. I don't know where Jules is today. I think she's upstairs. And relax there. Your other leg, if you want to change your support, that's absolutely fine. First of all, just the foot up and down, getting that movement through the ankle. And then side to side. And then a circle in one direction. And a circle the other way. And then those little kicks forwards and backwards. Just to get the movement through the knee. Just getting the muscles in the thigh going. We're going to need those thigh muscles today, by the way. Oh, relax there. Let's give your legs just a little bit of a shake. Right, are we feeling all right? I'm going to assume that's a yes, I think. Give me a second, Hang on a minute. So, you've got your support, hopefully. As I said earlier, if you need to just take a breather, please take a breather. And you certainly don't need to do quite as many movements um, that I'm gonna do, if you don't want to. Hang on just a second, I just need to turn. There we go, right, okay, so. So, firstly, we're gonna do a leg. So I'm going to do this one. This is my right leg. I appreciate on the camera it might look like my, my left leg. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift, keep my heel on the ground. I'm going to lift my toes up as high as I can. And then I'm going to hold that position. 
So my heel stays on the ground, and I'm really trying to point my toes up towards the ceiling. I'm going to hold that position, and then just relax. Same again, same leg, heel down, toes up. So you should feel that muscle next to your shin really working quite hard now because you're holding that position. Really pull on those toes up towards the ceiling and relax. One more time on this leg. So heel down, toes up, really contracting that shin muscle as high as you can. Keep pulling up, keep pulling up those toes. And relax there, just give those legs a little bit of a shake. We're going to do the other leg. So same again, heel down, toes up as high as you can. Now you might feel also these muscles in your thigh working, maybe even in your hip. Try and grin and bear it. So really pulling up on those toes, but keeping your heel in contact with the ground. Hold that position. Really pulling up on those toes and relax. And same again, heel down, toes up, as high as you can. Beautiful, lovely. Really feeling those, that muscle. It's quite a specific muscle, but important for walking, climbing up and down stairs, keeping that power that you need in your lower leg. Relax. One more time, heel down, toes up. Oh, we've got a leg joiner. Hold that position, don't stop. Don't stop, keep pulling up on those toes, Teresa. Trying to get back in again. Teresa's having technical problems today. And relax there and give those legs a little bit of a shake. Okay, so back on the other leg. This time, let me turn, I'm just going to turn the side on. This time, you're going to lift your heel up as high as you can. Now you'll see I've bent my, I've bent my knee. I'm going to lift that heel up. You'll feel this calf muscle contract. So give it a good squeeze, lift, keep your toes down, but lift your heel up as high as you can, and then relax. Now, whilst you're doing this, those um, very tiny muscles and those joints and those ligaments and tendons in your foot are getting a really good stretch as well, especially if you're like me, you're just in your socks. If, you've got your, if you want to kick off and just be in barefoot or your socks, that's absolutely fine. Here we go again. So toes down, heel up. Bend that knee, squeeze that calf muscle. So you, you'll feel that stretch as well through the sole of your foot. So keep your toes down, heel up as high as you can. You're pulling up that heel as high as you can. And relax. One more time. Heel up, toes down, feeling those calf muscles, giving it a good squeeze. Lovely job. All right, relax there. So we're going to do the other leg. Just give your legs just a bit of a shake. I'm going to turn around so you can see me side on. So toes down, heel up, the knee will bend. You'll really squeeze that calf muscle, stretching out through the foot as well, pulling up on that calf. Rest if you need to rest. If you get a little bit of crampiness come in, just relax. And everyone can relax there anyway. And again, same again. Toes down, heels up. It looks nothing, doesn't it? but you can really feel those lower leg muscles giving it a good, a good old go. And relax there. One more time on this side. Toes down, heels up. High with that, that heel, get that heel up. Fabulous, and relax there. There you go, give those legs a little bit of a shake. So, onto a more traditional exercise that you've, you've done with me before, and it is a double calf raise now. So if you want to use your support, that's absolutely fine. Again, I'm just going to turn side on because you've probably seen see what I'm doing a little bit better with my feet. So you're going to start with your feet underneath your hips. You can hold on to your support if you need to. So just think about your posture. Up onto your tiptoes and then slowly lower. So we're going to do 10 of these. There's one already. So nice and high. Squeeze those calves. Nice and controlled, come back down. Here we go, number three coming up. And then nice and slowly, nice and controlled, coming back down. Here's number four. Come back down if you want to, if you're feeling pretty good. Perhaps let go of your chair. You can always put your hand back down. There's number five. There's number six. So just nice and easy. Really squeezing those lower leg muscles. Seven. 
keep that posture. Eight, nine, last one. Ten. Good. And relax there. Give those legs a little bit of a shake. So quite quite a good overload there on the lower on the lower leg. Moving up the leg now. We're going to work on our quadricep muscles, these big thigh muscles, and our bum as well. And we're going to do squats. So many of you will know that my favourite type of squat is a sumo squat. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to save that treat for another day. I'm just going to do a traditional squat. And again, I'll position myself in different ways so you can see me from different angles. So for the squat, importantly, if your knees aren't great, do what you can do, all right? It might not necessarily be a squat in the traditional sense. It might, it might be more of a knee bend. But do protect your knees. Obviously, I'm not in the same room as you, and I can't read your facial expressions to see if, if you're struggling. So just go with where you can. I'm going to trust you. Whichever version you're going to do, you're going to start with your feet quite wide, so a little bit wider than hips width apart, and your toes pointing forwards. You can hold on to your support if you need to. So whichever version you're doing, when you bend your knees, you're going to try and keep your back straight. So from your tailbone to the base of your skull, you're going to try and keep straight. We're not going to round our shoulders. As we stick our bum backwards and bend our knees, my back is straight. Yes, it's at an angle, but it's straight. And then I'm going to squeeze my bum to push my hips forward. All right? Try and keep both feet flat on the floor. Bend your knees as much as you want to. Protect your knees, though. Here we go. So bums back, back straight, knees bent. Squeeze your bum as you come forwards. That's one. Here we go again. Two. I want you to think about your knee position, keeping your knees apart. You don't want your knees collapsing in. Three. Squeeze your bum as you come forward. Four. Five. Six. Seven, keep pushing those knees apart. Don't let them come in. Eight, like riding a horse, if you've ever done that. Nine. Ten. And relax there. Not too shabby. Give those legs a little bit of a shake. Okay, so moving further up the legs, we're going to concentrate on the bum now. One of my favorite ones, the bum squeeze. We're going to do ten on each leg. Hold on to your support. Make sure that whatever is behind you, you've got space. So again, you're not going to kick a chair or your pet or anything like that. You've got some space behind you. When we do the bum squeezes for this one, the important thing is that you keep your legs straight. And try and keep your chest lifted. So a leg, I don't mind which one you want to start off with. They're both going to do 10. Please rest if you need to rest. Have a sit down if you need to have a sit down. Right, so standing behind your chair or holding onto your, onto your support, however you've got it configured today. A leg, you're going to push that leg behind you until you feel a squeeze on your bum. Try and keep the leg straight, keep your chest up, and then back. Same leg, push it behind you. We're going to hold it for a second. Back to the start, there's two. And again, three, four. Sorry about that. Trees is trying to get back in. Five. Keep that chest up. Give that bum a good squeeze. Six. So we're just holding it behind us for a second. Seven. So you get that contraction through the bum area. Eight. Nine. Last one on this side. Ten. Just give your legs, both legs a bit of a shake because you'll notice that your standing leg starts that pressure, that effort starts to build in your standing leg as well. So that's why it's important just to give both legs a little bit of a shake. And we've got Sheila joining us. Sheila thought it was probably starting at half past 10. Although I think I clearly stated in the email. Hello, Sheila, you're half an hour late. We started at 10 o'clock for this one. Can't hear you if you're trying to speak to me. No. 
<laughs> All right, trees are still trying to get in. Trees is in and out like a, it's not a revolving door, but a bit like that with Teresa. Oh, you're back with us again, Teresa. Hang on, just let her put the volume back on. Connect her audio, otherwise she won't hear me. All right, Teresa. Like a revolving door with you. You're in, you're out, you're in, you're out. I thought it was funny anyway. Right, your other leg. Oh, blimey. What's, what's going on here? Right, okay, so your other leg. Same again, chest up, straight leg, push it behind you, and then come back to the start. Push that leg behind you, hold it for a second, feel that contraction in your bum, back to the start, there's two. And again, three. Keep that chest up, four. Five, nice and steady. Feel that pressure building in your other leg, in your standing leg. I think that's six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. You can feel it, can't you, in that standing leg. Give your legs just a little bit of a shimmy. How are we doing? All right. Okay, cool. So we're going to do next a lunge. I'm going to do a static lunge. And again, <clears throat> excuse me. And again, for those of you who whose knees aren't great, please just take it nice and steady. I want this to be a strength exercise. I'm not too fussed about it being a balance exercise. We'll come on to balance in a in a moment. So with your lunge, it's going to be a reverse static lunge. So you are stood holding onto your support. Again, you're just going to make sure that there's nothing behind you that's going to get in your way. We're going to try and keep our chest lifted. When we do lunges, it's really tempting for your head and your chest to fall forward. So we're going to try, try and avoid that. So depending on your knees, go with where you can. So A leg, I'm going to start off with this one. There's to the camera. I'm going to take a step back. So an exaggerated step back. I'm gonna try and stay on the toes of this back leg, keep my chest up, and then I'm gonna bend both knees as much as I can, and then I'm gonna straighten, and then come back to the start. Same leg, that exaggerated step back, chest lifted, bending both knees, straighten, start. Same leg, step back, Bend, straighten, start. That's three. And again, nice and controlled. Go with where you can on those knee bends. So if it's a little bit shallower, that is fine. Okay, we've lost count. I think that was five. Beautiful, lovely. Take a rest if you need to take a rest. That's six. Seven, nice and steady. No need to rush. Concentrate on your technique. Eight. That's nine. Last one on this leg. Ten. Beautiful, lovely. And steady there. Give those legs a little bit of a shake. We've got someone else. Teresa. What's going on with Teresa's technology today? Back with us, Teresa. Right, give those legs a bit of a shake. We're going to do 10 on the, other, on the other leg. And as you no doubt know, that one side might be better than the other. Just go with, with common sense. I don't want you to overdo it. I don't want any injuries whilst I'm not there with you. What are you blaming me? So chest up. Holding onto, onto your support. Your other leg now takes that exaggerated step back. Stay on your toes with your heel off the ground. Chest up. Bend both knees, so you're sinking down towards the ground. Straighten, back to the start. There's one, here we go. Nice and steady. Straighten, two. Same leg, stay on your toes. Lovely, three. And you'll start to feel it through both legs, through the hips, through the thighs. 
I'm going to take a guess, that's five. I don't think anyone will contradict me. Six. Keep that chest listed. Seven. Rest if you need to rest. Eight. Beautiful, lovely. Thinking about that technique right to the last one. Smashing. Good. And relax there. Give those legs a little bit of a shake. Are we all right? You're all still in picture. Yeah, and I can't see anyone who's fallen over in a snotty heap. I'm sure you'll tell me about it later. So the last leg strengthening, or the specific leg strengthening uh, exercise I want to do, the last one, so your hamstrings, to so these muscles on the, on the backs of your legs, on the backs of your thighs. Oh, excuse me, windy pops. So again for this one, making sure there's nothing behind you, keeping that chest lifted. This time, just keeping your feet just a little bit closer together. You're going to try and bring your heel towards your bum and then bringing it back down. You'll notice I can't get my heel towards my bum. Doesn't matter, I can still feel that contraction in my hamstrings. I'm also trying to keep, I don't know if you can see it from the camera, I'm trying to keep my knees next to each other so I don't want to be swinging behind. You can see how this knee has come away from, from this knee and it's not going forward. Trying to keep my knees side by side as I bring my heel towards, towards my bum. All right, here we go. You've already done one. So I'm gonna do this leg nearest to the camera. Curling up, trying to bring my heel towards my bum and back down, there's two. Try and keep those knees next to each other. Three, rest if you need to rest. Four, you really feel those uh, hamstring muscles contracting. I think that's six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one on this side. Ten. Give those legs a little bit of a shake. Give them a little bit of a wiggle if you want to give them a bit of a wiggle. Your other leg, exactly the same. Chest up, knees next to each other, and then curling that heel behind you, trying to bring it up towards your bum, and then lowering it back down. There's one. Beautiful. Two. Nice and smooth. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Take a breather if you need to take a breather. Nine, last one. Thank goodness for that. I'm sure you're all crying out. But again, I can't hear you. Just give those legs a little bit of a shake. How are we feeling? All right? Yeah? Super job. Okay. So that is the bulk of the strength exercises I wanted to do for the legs. I'm going to do a little bit of balance now. I'm going to do the tightrope balance sequence. So this is the one. It does as well as yes being a balance exercise, which starts off at a fairly basic level, but then we can um, uh, increase the difficulty. What it also does, it puts a lot of strain on your standing leg, especially around the hip area. So take a breather if you need to take a breather. Come out of the pose, the pose. So that's the yoga speed, that is. Come out of the movement if you need to come out of the movement and just put both feet down on the ground. Because I'm aware it might be some time since, since you last did this particular little sequence. So there might be an additional strain through the hip area. Okay, so hopefully, I should have put different colored socks on so you can see my feet. Hopefully that as I speak, and with what you can see on the camera, it'll come back to you what you need to do. Right, so standing up nice and tall, what I'm going to ask you to do is place one foot in line with your other foot as if you're standing on that imaginary tightrope. So I'll talk you through a few little pointers. Let's hold on to our support to start off with. Don't worry, we can make it hard as we go along, but let's just start off at this point. Both feet should be flat on the floor. You want to try and distribute your weight evenly over both feet so you're not too far forward, you're not too far back. And then you're going to just stand up nice and tall, so just thinking about your posture. And I'm just going to hold this position just for a moment. I just want you to settle into this position. 
as I say, it might have been a little while since you've done this particular sequence of exercises. So you might, your balance might not be particularly top draw compared to how it was a few months ago. Let's find out, shall we? So what we're going to do is we're going to gently shift our centre of gravity backwards so we get the weight over the back leg, allowing us to lift the toes up of your front foot. So this is where that pressure now will start to build in that rear leg. Try and fight through. Keeping that posture nice and tall. If you want to, at this point, have a little go with your balance by taking your hand off your support, please feel free. You can always put your hand back down if you need to. Like I say, I'm not there in the room with you, so please just take care. I can't tell if you're going to fall over. So looking at something, to try and not look at the camera, but look at something that isn't going to move, just to help you balance. That pressure's probably building quite substantially now in that standing leg. So what I want you to do from here, you can put your hand back down on your support, is lift that front foot now off the ground, just a couple of inches, and now you stood on one leg. Keep your hand down on your support if you want to, but if you do want to try and lift your hand off, this, off your support, give it a go. We're just going to try and hold this position. I know that tension is building in that standing leg. So just a few more moments. And relax there. Foot down on the ground. Give your legs a bit of a shake. Yeah, you probably noticed, so it's been a while since you've practiced that, and you probably got that strain in that standing leg much sooner than you would have done a few months ago. Yeah. It's the same for me as well. Don't worry. Okay, so we're going to do the other leg now. So that standing leg, that's probably still achy. I want you to swing round so it's the lead foot on your tightrope. So our feet are in a line. Oh, don't fall over. You've got a hold of your support. Both feet are flat, the fl flat on the floor at this point. And then we're just adjusting our center of gravity so that our weight is distributed over both feet. And we're standing up nice and tall. And we're just going to hold this position just for a moment or two. So settling into it. You want to take your hand off the chair for now. Just practicing that balance. That's absolutely fine. Do what you feel comfortable with. Okay, so from this position, again, we're just going to gently rock back. So the weight comes over the back leg, which allows us then to lift the toes up of that front foot. You've still got hold of your support at this point. Just settle in here for a moment. And if you do feel like you're fairly stable and you want to give it a go, by all means, take your hand off your support. That pressure now is building in that standing leg, in that back leg. And then from here, lifting that front foot off the ground just a couple of inches. You can keep your hand in contact with your support if you need to. Don't grip too tightly on your support. Try and endure that tension and that discomfort in that standing leg. See what you can do with your hands. Just a few more moments. And relax there. Come back down onto the ground. Give your legs a little bit of a shake. Woof. Are we feeling all right? Let me just double check. That none of you looking at me. I can still see you all in a the snotty heap on the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see. Yeah, beautiful. Phew, that's a relief. <laughs> okay, how are we doing for time? Smashing. So I'm going to do one last balance exercise. At the very start of during the warm up, we did some high knees. We're going to do the same again, except we're going to slow it right down. So it turns into a little bit of a balance exercise as well. So by all means, hold on to your support if you need to. Chest up. So we're going to do a, one leg at a time. I'm just going to do five on each side. I'm going to slow it right down. So we're going to lift a knee up as high as you can. And then lowering it back down. If you want to try without a chair, then give it a go. Much harder. But we're doing it really slowly. 
Here we go. High knee, tight as you can, and lowering back down. We're just going to do two more on this side, lifting up as high as you can, and back down. And again, last one on this side, and lowering back down. Just give you those legs a little bit of a shake. On to the other side now. Same again. Hold on to the support if you want to, just to start off. Lovely high knee, and then lowering it back down under control. And again. And back down. Try without holding on to your support if you want to. That's not easy, is it? I'm just going to do two more on this side. Nice and high. And back down. Last one on this side. And lowering back down. Give those legs a bit of a shake. Fabulous. Right. So I think I'm going to quit while I'm ahead because I've done tons of leg exercises. I'm just having a look at I've got a board in front of me. So I remember what to do. Um, we've done tons of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yes, yeah, seven strength exercises. And then just finishing off with those couple of little balance exercises. Please, if you've got your chair, have a sit down. You're probably thinking, oh my goodness, look that. How are we doing? All right. Okay. So before we get onto our stretches, um, I'm just going to do um, a little little bit of a posture. I know, I know I've been talking about posture whilst we've been stood up, but let's do it sat down as well. It's just a nice way just to, just to round off that hard work and just to let your legs kind of return to normal before we go into those stretches. So both feet flat on the floor. Try and think about where the bony bits in your bum are. I'll just let you think about that for a moment. What does help, sounds a little bit crude, so apologies, is if you try and just move the fleshy bit of your bum to the side. Sometimes it helps you to find those bony bits a bit better. So we're going to try and balance on those bony bits. And then just thinking about where your tailbone is. Got it? All the way up your spine now. Try and stack each vertebra, one on top of the other, so that by the time you get to the base of your skull, your back is lovely and straight. We're going to roll our shoulders up, back and down, and then really reaching up the top of your head towards the ceiling. So you might feel a stretch, you might feel an expansion through your tummy and through your ribs as well. And then relax, and we all sort of like flop forward, don't we? Really bad posture. We're going to try that again. So you're all balanced on your bony bits. We've all got them. Yes, we have. From your tailbone, each vertebra, one on top of the other, lengthening your spine. Try and imagine there's some space between each vertebra, between each backbone. That piece of string pulling you up towards the ceiling to just encourage that length. And then shoulders up to your ears. Roll your shoulders back. And then just let them drop. So your chest is out slightly. And you're just pulling back slightly on your shoulders, looking down your nose, being all posh. And relax. We're just going to do that one more time. You know the score now. You're on your bony bits. You know where your tailbone is. We're stretching. We're trying to encourage some space between our vertebra. Nice and tall. Bringing that length out through the top of your head up towards the ceiling. And then shoulders up. Roll them back and down. Just pulling back ever so slightly on your shoulder blades. Chest is out ever so slightly. And then you can relax. Super job. Right, should we do some stretches? Yay! Right, okay. So hopefully you're sat forward on your chair. Let's do some leg stretches first of all. I'm hoping you can see my feet in the camera. Um, if not, you do know these stretches. So you've extended a leg, not mind which, and now you are pointing those toes and you're trying to point them back up towards your face so that you feel that stretch through the calf muscle and through into the Achilles. I know I can do this stretch stood up. I just think that you might just appreciate I'm going to sit down after standing up doing all those leg exercises. 
Point your toes forward, so you're getting that stretch through the shin and through the front of your ankle. I'm just going to lift my foot up slightly so that it's in camera. And then pull back, toes pointing towards your face, stretching out through that calf muscle. That's worked quite hard today, those calves. And then just relax there. So keeping that leg nice and long, putting both hands onto your bent knee, sitting up nice and tall. And then taking the weight on your bent knee as you lean forward until you feel a stretch through the back of your thigh. And as always, when we're doing this, we're just relaxing. The more you can relax, the more those muscles, you'll get a, get a decent stretch out of them. And it does help if you take a breath out to just drop slightly lower into that stretch. And then gently pushing back up to your seated position. And then change legs. So extend the other leg out. Same again. Toes first of all. So pointing your toes up towards the ceiling to encourage that stretch through the Achilles and calf. You don't need to lift your foot off the ground. I'm just doing that so you can see my foot in the camera. Point your toes forward like a dancer. And then toes back up towards the ceiling. Hands onto your bent leg. We don't want to put our hands on our straight leg because if we put any pressure on that knee, it means the knee's going in the wrong direction and that's not healthy. So we're sitting up nice and tall, hands on the bent leg. And then again, leaning forwards until you get that stretch through the back of the thigh. And just noticing that you might be slightly stretchier on one side compared to the other. That could be for a whole host of reasons. Could be that you've got back problems on one side. Could be that you've got a pain in the bum. So we're just trying to relax here now. Take that breath out so you can go a little bit lower into your stretch. And then gently pushing back up to your seated position. Both feet flat on the floor. So I'm gonna do a stretch now for your hips. I'm going to show you two variations because I know some of you, your hips or your knees aren't great. So I'm going to show you the harder version first of all. And if you can't do the harder version, I will show you the easier version. So what we're going to do for the hard version, if you can, you're going to cross your foot onto your knee. Now, if you can't manage this, your option is to pull that knee into the chest so that you get the stretch through the hip and through your bum. So this is one option. Your other option, as I say, the slightly harder one, depending on your hips and knees, is to be in this position. If you've got your legs crossed, what you can do from here is just apply a bit of top pressure to that knee, just a little bit of rotation, you'll feel a great stretch through the hip. For those of you who are hugging your knee, Make sure you're also pointing your toes up towards the ceiling as well. If you've got your legs crossed, at this point, just release that tension off the top of your knee and just lean forward slightly. And again, you'll feel that stretch in the bum. Okay, I'm relaxed there. And everyone now is going to put both feet flat on the floor. We're going to do the other side. And just bear in mind, you might be better on one side or the other. So you might just have to adapt that stretch to suit you today. So either crossing, your foot onto your knee, or you're pulling that knee up towards your chest and pointing your toes up towards the ceiling. So we're in this position, stretching out that bum. So you've got your leg crossed over your knee, applying a little bit of top pressure to your, the top of your knee here, just pushing down, and then release that pressure and lean forward. Doesn't need to be a big lean forward unless you're massively bendy. Pat White's not with us today. She's very, very bendy. And then just lifting up and then settling both feet back down onto the ground. Some upper body stretches. So sitting up nice and tall, one hand in front of the other. And then pushing those hands out as far as you can. So stretching out through that upper back. And relax. I'm going to do that again. So pushing your hands away. And relax. 
And then one more time, pushing away. And relax there. So for the chest, hands either onto the small of your back or hold onto your chair if you prefer. Roll back those shoulders again and press your chest forward. So really feeling that stretch now through the collarbones and the front of your shoulders. Just relax. And again, roll your shoulders back. Feel your chest go forwards. And relax. We're just going to do that one more time. Shoulders back, chest out. Ah, relax there, fabulous. So a little bit of a twist. So we're going to take a hand, pop it on your spare knee, oh sorry, on your opposite knee. And then your other hand holds onto your chair. Sit up tall, and then pull yourself around whichever, um, towards whichever hand is holding the knee. So keep your back nice and long, nice and tall. And try to get that rotation through the tummy and through the rib cage and through the lower back. Okay, a little bit of a tricky one now. So keep your torso and keep your hands where they are. I want you to turn your head round to look over your opposite shoulder. So your body's going in one direction, your head is going in another. So you're trying to get a bit of a stretch through the neck. And then we're going to uncurl and come back to the centre. Do the other side. So take your other hand onto your opposite knee. One hand holds onto the side of your chair. Sit it up tall. And then whichever hand is holding onto the knee, keep that back tall as you pull yourself around. Using those hands as a lever to help you get that twist. Don't hold your breath, by the way. I've not mentioned that today, have I? Again, keep your hands where they are, keep your torso where it is, but now bring your head round to look over your other shoulder. So imagine your spine is like a spiral staircase. It's getting that additional stretch through your neck. If it's uncomfortable, then don't worry, don't need to do it. And then slowly just ease out of that to come back to the centre. I'm going to do the lower back stretch. If you've got problems with your lower back and you don't want to do this particular stretch, you don't have to. If you are going to attempt the stretch, just go nice and steady. And clearly, if something hurts and doesn't feel right, just come out of, come out of the stretch. It's relatively simple to set up. I'm sure you'll remember this. So feet flat on the floor. And first of all, just put your hands on your knees. Just take the weight of your upper body. Just going to try and sit up nice and tall. And then very gently now, you're going to lean over, so just lowering your chest down towards your lap until you start to feel that stretch through the back. Try and not hold your breath. It's a little bit tricky, I know, because your chest does get compressed. If you're feeling fairly comfortable and you want a slightly deeper stretch, by all means, you can drop your hands down towards your feet, towards your shins, or towards the ground. And then just relax, as always. I'm just going to hold this for a few moments, but do come out of the stretch if you've had enough. And then you're going to put both hands back on your knees, and then just very gently push back up to your seated position. I'm just going to give you a moment just to make sure that there's no dizziness. I'm just going to fall off the chair in a snotty heap. Super job. Right. So, last little bit then for our neck. So, just sitting up nice and tall. Moving your head around to look over a shoulder. Try and keep your shoulders still low. Try and keep your, your body still. You're just moving your head. As you push that chin round to look over your shoulder. And then back to the centre, all the way around to look over your other shoulder. And then coming back through to the centre. So gently now let gravity help as we tilt our head over to one side. We're not lifting our shoulders. We want to Feel that stretch through the side of the neck. If you lift your shoulders and you're going to get rid of that stretch. You want to try and keep your shoulders down. And back up. And then tilting that head across to the other side. Just let gravity take your head. And back up. Very gently now, dropping your chin towards your chest. And then slowly lifting up, looking up towards the ceiling. And then coming back down, 
And finally, just gently now, rolling that head around in one direction, just nice and slow and smooth and controlled. And then very gently back round in the other direction. Marvellous. How are we feeling? All right. Give your hands a shake. Give those weary legs a pat down. Fabulous. And then just give yourself a round of applause, please. Give yourself a round of applause. How are we feeling? All right. Yeah. I'm just trying to, yeah, mute all. If you want to uh, speak, you'll have to unmute yourself. I can't do it from where I am. 